Hey, no time. Wait, long time, no weekly vlog. I mean, I think I've, have I not weekly vlogged for like two weeks? Or is it a week? I can't really remember. I feel like it might be two weeks by the time you're seeing this. So apologies, but I just don't want them to get like super repetitive, but I don't know if like you enjoy that, but I literally don't do anything with my life. I'm doing a few things this week. By a few things, I mean, it's already, it's half five on Monday, but I usually start my weekly vlogs on a Tuesday anyway. Anyways, I got my nails done today. But we are going out on the weekend though, because it's my friend's 22nd birthday on, well, it's actually today, but then we're going out on Saturday. So I'm excited for that. I don't really have an outfit, but you're gonna help me decide this week. I mean, you're not, because you're gonna see this after I've been out, but besides the point. Um, and then I'm also getting masses of Botox on Thursday. Shitting myself, but I've seen a lot of videos saying it doesn't hurt. I am also, I think, getting the lemon bottle fat dissolver on my chin, um, because I think I've spoken about this before. I'm just gonna unload my food shop, actually, because I just did a mini little food shop. Um, I think it's quite genetic, but I do have like a fat pocket. It's not super bad, but like sometimes when I see it, I'm like, whoa. Like it actually, it makes me feel like shit. And like, so I just don't like, you know what I mean? Anyway, it's an insecurity of mine. And if I can fix it, I can fix it. Um, it's no guarantee that it's gonna work and it could take a few sessions, but I don't know. But I have a little pocket of fat here that won't go. And even when I've been like really skinny, like I'm talking like underweight, I've still had a double chin. You know what I mean? Like. So no matter what weight I've been, I know it's not a weight thing, it's like a just me thing. So if I can get rid of it, then I can get rid of it. But I don't know. So I will update you. Apparently you get the results of that within like 24 hours. But obviously the master Botox takes, is it up to two weeks to fully kick in? So I mean, I'll let you know how it goes, but obviously fully the full results, I won't know until like two weeks, but I'm gonna like take pictures. I mean, I think I might take pictures. I'm gonna take a picture every day. I might take a picture every other day over the next, over the two weeks and see what it looks like. So I'm so intrigued to like see the before and after, you know what I mean? Like the real difference. And if it doesn't work, I may just cry because then I don't actually know what I'm gonna do with my life, to be honest, because I'm just in agony every single day, more or less with that side of my face, so. I mean, we'll see. What, what can you do? Good morning. Do you know what? I actually have such a nice little morning routine. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what it is. Since getting this mask, I feel like I leave everything out. So then in the morning, because this is like 10 minutes, I do everything in 10 minutes. So like I'll put the dishes away. I'll put my washing away. I'll like set my little station up. I'll do my green juice. I'll make my coffee. And I feel like I get so much stuff done, even though like I'm not, you know? <laughs> Like I'm just getting like little things done, but I just enjoy doing that and then it makes this go like faster. I know. Anyway, I did actually book my blow dry for Saturday. Um and my outfit is coming because I thought, you know what, I'm not gonna wanna have my hair up. I feel like <sighs> whatever. Like I don't I don't know. I don't mind having my hair up, but I'm just also aware of the fact that I'm getting masses of Botox and um, the lemon thing and it does say it's not going to swell but I feel like if my hair's scraped back out of my face I feel like I'm going to be a little bit more aware of it so I, do you know what I mean? Like I feel like I'll feel better if I have just, what the hell? Oh, I need that, but anyway. I feel like I'll just go back and I just have a, a nice bouncy blow dry and I'm getting pinkles as well. So at least like, they can just stay in all day. I'm actually so excited to be fair. But yeah, I ordered my outfit last night from Mars Label and it's already coming today, which is crazy. But I'm very excited about it. Oh my God, also, I picked this perfume up in Zara yesterday because, well, in fact, I'll show you the dress first. Well, it's actually a play suit, which, I'm pleasantly surprised that you've probably seen it everywhere to be honest, but it's this one from Zara, but they only had a size medium in it and it fits fine. Like it, it, it fits fine. You know what I mean? Like it's not too big, but the belt on it at the back is really weird because it kind of like flops like that and then it like lifts the skirt up and it's really weird when you have it on, but I wanted to wear it for one of my Madison Bay concerts. Because I'm going to two, I'm going to Manchester one and going to London. Um, so I want to have like really cute like Madison inspired outfits. And I thought that is literally perfect. 
But then I also have two dresses coming from Old Polly. I'm going to send one of them back. I only ordered two because one of them was only in a size 6 and that one is better than the one that I got which is in my size. So, but then Old Polly sizing sometimes can be a bit off. Anyway, I picked up this perfume. I think it was like 12, 13 pounds. It's called Oriental Zara Day Collection 02 this little bottle because the woman in front of me in the queue like sprayed it and then do you know when you get a whiff and you're like whoa that's really nice and I was like is that that or is it like the perfume she has on but it was this and I don't know how to describe it but it just smells really like kind of musky is that the right word but it smells like a perfume that I've had oh my god what perfume does this smell like because that's why I like it so much. Does it smell like that Lancome? The yes, Bell that I've just finished. I feel like it does, you know. Anyways, today's plan of agenda. Well, I'm going to do my gua sha ring now. And then, i do my skincare, which I fully found a skincare routine now that I've been sticking to. But I just do my gua sha first. This is just the Face Gym face oil. Oh my God, also Face Gym have now come out with memberships. And I mean, obviously it's still expensive, but I mean, well, I know it is so expensive. It's 80 pounds a month and you get one facial included in that. But they are sneaky though, because they've upped the prices. And I was like, hmm, because the signature sculpt used to be 90, I think. And now they've made it 100, which <laughs> it's like they want you to buy the um, package. Um, but then you also get 40% off like boosters and stuff. But again, like I use, I'm going to, I get like the buccal fat one. Like it's a really nice massage. And that used to be 45 and now I think it's 50. So they've like upped it. So, but I think now you'd pay 110 as opposed to 150. I mean, it's not that bad, but I mean, 80 pounds a month on a facial isn't that bad. You also get like other benefits and stuff, but I don't know whether to do it or not, but I do really like them. Like, I think once a month is fine. Sorry, excuse how crazy I look with this hair. No, because I actually look bald. Ah! <laughs> do you know what? I'm past Karen anymore. This is what I look like practically every single day. I don't look put together. I don't look like a little Instagram body model, okay? This is it. My skin flares up, my hair slipped back, and I'm wearing the same clothes for a week. And that's that's the truth anyway now i go in this is my second bottle of this i actually really like it it, it smells so nice it's the dialba first spray serum um and i literally just drown my face in it road glazing milk of freaking course i just love this with all of my heart but i think today i'm actually gonna do a sabrina carpenter inspired makeup look i wish i had blonde hair to do it but i don't but i do have the bangs and i feel like her bangs she always styles them really nicely so i'm gonna attempt to style them how she does i feel like her hair always looks really cute but her blush and just her makeup it's very like doll like and i'm just obsessed with it all right now cosrx snail mucin essence look how much i've used of this i feel like because this is the thing like this year i really want to try and get through as many products as I possibly can without buying new ones, if that makes sense. Because obviously, you all know, I have like an over consumption amount of makeup, skincare, etc. And I actually want to get through stuff this year. But I just love this so much. I didn't think I would because it kind of like, it does gross me out. <laughs> but it actually does like make your skin look ripped sorry if you know me i hate like it did sorry it actually really makes you feel ill like this cotton like that touching my lip then actually makes me want to be sick like i don't know what it is like but then i can like feel it on my tongue 
if you think I'm being dramatic right now, I'm really not. Like, that actually really goes through me. It's something that really makes me, like, shiver. <sighs> and then, because I wrecked nice amide 15, I'll just use two little pipettes of that. I've already been through one of it, but um, I think it's because it's only 20 mil. But I just <laughs> went through it, it's like, so quickly. But to be fair, I use it every morning and every evening. So I don't know. But I just, it seemed like I went through it really quick. Maybe it was like three weeks. Maybe, I don't really know. And then I'm gonna use the road glazing fluid, but, oh, I was gonna say my pump's broken on this and I actually have to unswear it, but suddenly today it's working. It didn't wanna get all nervous and wrong for the camera. I don't know what it is, but it's so satisfying when you actually finish a product. Like, when you actually get to the bottom of the product and there's nothing in there anymore, it's just really satisfying to me. And it's like, wow, I actually did enjoy this. That's why I love doing my monthly empties videos because you can actually see what a person uses each month and what they actually enjoy using. I think I almost just had a mental breakdown of this freaking lip balm. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> you should have just seen me walking around my apartment. Honestly guns guns blazing trying to find this freaking road peptide treatment down the side of my couch down the side of my couch i thought i'd binned it i was looking through my bin and everything because i thought i'd lost this why do you have such a chokehold over me okay so i actually, this is not me being dramatic because i know i'm very dramatic but do you know how yesterday i said oh, order from Mars label because they fit really nice I, that has made me feel like I've put on about 10 stone, okay? At one point, I didn't even think I would, was going to be able to get it off my body. That has made me feel so fucking shit about myself. Sorry to swear, but I've never felt so shit about myself in my life. I actually thought it was going to be a bit too big because sometimes Mars label size is like, they're a little bit too big sometimes, which is like, that, that's how, why I like ordering from them. It didn't even look right. I couldn't even fasten it at the start. Guys, <laughs> I'm gonna be so real right now. Um, it's the next day. It's now Wednesday. Um, apologies. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, sorry, cheekbone. Who? Um, I after that yesterday, I managed to return. It actually, there's actually a Royal Mail drop off round the corner. Never knew that. That is gonna come in so much handy and there's also an everyone there like they'll do all of them never knew that i've been like going into city center anyways um i did have literally i'm gonna be so for real i just cried like i had such a shit day yesterday and then it sounds so daft but then i did a video and i just hated the video that i made like and i feel like i'm so picky with myself when it comes to like my content and it might sound so stupid but I just hated it. I can't work out whether I like the front camera or the back camera and uh, the lighting, etc, etc. Like, I was just, I just felt so crap about it and just, I'm very, very hard on myself. And then it didn't even do well. <laughs> so then I was like, I just threw my phone and go on my phone and then I was like, whatever. Then watch Celebrity Big Brother. Sorry, what was the point in that episode? It's the second episode. I zoned out. Like, I actually just went on my phone and said and stopped watching it because, like, I might be funny, half of it we already watched. Anyways, so I returned that Mads label dress. I'm still really upset about it, but you know what? It is what it is. However, my PLT shoes came. I'll show you. I never actually wear shoes like this because I normally just wear, like, closed toe shoes because I feel like they just look nice and I like, I like a pointed shoe. I just like them. But anyway, they're just these ones from PLT. But they're really cushioned, but they're really comfy. It says it they're not it says wide fit for some reason, but they're not wide fit. Unless they are. I mean, I think I have what wider fit feet, but they're not wide fit like I can fit in normal shoes. But I think but yeah, they fit so nice. And this, do you know when sometimes an ankle strap, like I don't have cankles, but I don't have skinny ankles, okay? Like I'm in I'm in between, do you know what I mean? Like my ankles aren't skinny, but they're not like cankles. So, 
sometimes these straps don't wrap around my ankle and then I'm like right well great like whose ankle is that skinny in fact my mum's my mum has such skinny ankles and I'm like can we please you know swap like where did these come from you know anyways so I got those but I don't really like having my toes out like I feel so weird having my toes out but these are really comfy by the way I think these are like 25 pounds and like I think I can also walk in heels a lot more a lot easier now like I used to be able to not walk in heels at all these are like really easy to walk in and like for me that's a pretty like big heel but yeah really comfy anyways and then I got these kiss um <laughs> press on toenails because i thought well they're probably just gonna be easier and then but it's gonna be a bit embarrassing though if one falls off i'm gonna have to take glue with me and maybe like spare nails on saturday i'm not even kidding because in back imagine i look down and like my big toenails falling off jail jail i don't know whether to go to trafford center or not but also i did order some dresses from pl not plt oh polly for madison bear Oh my god, and also this dress that I wanted for Medicine Bear came back in stock, so I ordered that as well. I keep ordering so many dresses lately. I need to send them all back because they're all like practically identical. But I, <laughs> I ordered one from Old Polly, and yes, I ordered it in a size six because it was the only one that was left in stock. When I tell you, I don't even know who, like, even if I was a size six, this would not fit me because of how short it is like when i tell you I, i've not even tried it on but i don't even need to try it on because i just held it up and i was like even if, do you know what if i try it on it's gonna be even shorter the dress is cute but see this was the one i thought i was gonna like more which it is really nice but i'm not being funny that's a top that is a top that is a top and then it ties at the back so i'm gonna have to return this i think it would even come up higher okay that is like here that is my la -di da sorry my bum would just be out for the world to see and it wasn't like that and i just think even if i got a size like eight in that or even a 10 i don't even think it would like be long enough then so anyway that's going straight back i was gonna try it on and maybe put like shorts underneath it but i thought you know what like what's the point like it's just what's the point in keeping it for the sake of it and i got this one which i didn't think i was gonna like this one because but i just got it anyway and then found that one i thought oh i'll, I'll wear that one instead this one's really nice but i'm just not sure the long sleeve but i suppose then i don't have to wear a jacket and then like i'll be fine i think this is gonna fit me really nice i think it's gonna fit me really nice but i don't know if you can see it goes like that so it kind of like goes in and flares out and i just think this is gonna be so cute for madison bear i can probably I feel like I might be able to get away with wearing a bra. You know, just to give me some extra padding, because it's got like, the neckline might be okay for a bra. Yeah, I think it might be. Um, so yeah, to be fair, in this, I probably could have got away with getting a six, because it does look a little bit bigger, and then it'd be a bit more tight-fitted, but I think it's actually going to be so cute. But I'm just like, <laughs> I'm scared of trying on clothes now, because I'm like, oh my God, it's going to just not look good i also don't know whether to return that zara dress or not but then i've also ordered this dress from mercy and it's basically identical and i'm like am i just gonna wear the same outfit for both concerts i don't know okay i've decided that i'm gonna go to traffic center by the way i'm just vlogging on my phone because my camera's on charge so that i can film bed chats when i get home but i've just put on this outfit i mean it looks really sunny but i feel like it's really deceiving because yesterday was it looked really sunny and then it was absolutely freezing cold so i put on this little like jumpsuit from plt i don't know really if you can see it it was in my plt haul but it's just a jumpsuit and it's like flared but it's like a zip so then i've got a top on underneath and then i've just put on this little gym shark like zip up because i feel like it'll keep me warm but i'm scared i'm gonna get too warm but i mean here we are but i've also got on my adidas spezzles spezzles specials whatever you want to call it and i've not worn these in absolutely ages oh wow my eyes look really blue also look at my eyelashes sorry like they have grown so much they look so long on this camera wow but yeah i think i'm just gonna go trafford 
get out for a bit and also maybe try and find outfits i don't really know but i just i kind of fancy a walk around anyway and like get out of my apartment for like a few hours like maybe two hours and then also maybe get a coffee um or maybe a matcha i kind of fancy a matcha so maybe i also really want to make the blueberry matcha at home so i might get the ingredients for that on amazon or something but yeah i just fancy getting out but i'm also going to return my old poly package because there's no i'm not even trying that short dress on there is no point like why is it literally that short sorry i feel like it's actually a bit warm but it's I feel like I'll thank myself though because I feel like it's gonna get a bit colder. Do you know what I mean? And I feel a bit more comfy with the jacket on. But I just oh. there's this dress in Zara that I really want, but it's not online anymore. So I don't know if it's gonna be in stock anymore. Fingers crossed, but if not, might cry. Okay. <laughs> like at this point I've literally got a pair of heels and that's it. So might just be going naked. Okay, then when I say I think that was potentially the worst traffic center trip of my entire life. Like there was absolutely nothing. I've ordered some outfits off Ego um, that are gonna come tomorrow. I just ordered three and then I'm just gonna return whatever doesn't fit me. I'm actually getting really good at returning clothes. Usually I'll just like keep them and then sell them. <laughs> but I'm actually returning stuff. So, I mean, it's good. But I also do have that Zara like dress jumpsuit thing. So I don't know if I'm gonna wear that to Madison Beer now. So I feel like I do have some options. And then I do also have some other options that I've not worn yet, but I mean, we'll see. I literally don't know why I'm stressing. I'm just going out with the girls. But you know when like you, you've you not felt good like all week and then like on Saturday, I wanna like do my hair and makeup and like put on a really nice outfit and I actually feel good about myself for once like this week um but yeah i actually let my hair naturally dry last night which i mean i don't think you're meant to do with extensions but i'm not gonna lie oh is that no i'm not gonna lie if you thought i was gonna blow dry my hair like yesterday i was in no mood too but it actually feels really soft to be fair i put a i put hair oil in it um when it was still a little bit damp oh i mean there is a few knots but um oh my god where does that come from I literally just brushed my hair. I'm gonna try and make vanilla cold foam. So, we have everything now. I'm gonna put a little bit of this into, sorry, you actually can't see anything. This is why I really want an island. Into here, my little frappy machine. But this is just vanilla bean paste. But I mean, I could reuse a little bit. Oh gosh, that seems like way too much. Oh well, that's fine. It'll do. Let me do the cold one. I have no idea what I'm doing, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this is not gonna be good. I couldn't fit all of the cold foam in and I don't even know if it's worked. So, I mean. I feel like I should have poured out some of the coffee. I mean, you know what? It's not bad, but. I don't know. Maybe I just can't make coffee for the life of me. Anyway, I'm going to film an episode of Bad Chats now. I'm actually reacting to all your dilemmas. I asked you all on Instagram yesterday, I think, for dilemmas. And I'm excited because I've actually not read through them. I've just been screenshotting them. So I'm excited to see what you're all saying. So yeah, I'm going to do that now. And then I don't actually know what we're going to do. Good morning, rise and or shine. But I'm just still feeling a little shitty. No, I I can't be just feeling like shit about myself all the time. And I don't want to come on camera and be like, oh my god, guess what I feel today? Shit. But I, it's just one of those weeks where I'm not having the best week. And I mean, I always want to be real. And I don't want to just come on and be like, I'm having the best week ever when I'm clearly freaking not. So yeah, I'm going to go on a little walk this morning. I'm literally just going to walk 15 minutes one way. And then I have to walk 15 minutes back. And then that's half an hour walk ticked off. And in my head, that's only 15 minutes. Do you know what I mean? Because I have to walk back anyway. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then that's like a little walk ticked off this morning, which I think is pretty good. And then we're going to get a massive Botox. <gasps> I'm honestly like, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little scared, but 
yeah oh my god as well i watched love is blind last night because i forgot that it came out so i watched it last night I, i'm not gonna spoil it just in case you haven't watched it but if you have watched it i can't believe how can i say that i'm just gonna i can't believe one of the couples that's all i'm gonna say i cannot believe one of the couples i mean i can i can but also at the same time I thought a spoiler came out, but clearly not. Clearly that was not real. So, yeah. Um, and then the reunion is, I think it's in two weeks, which is a little bit annoying, but, well, it's on the 14th. Is that next week? I think it is next week, actually. Maybe it is. What is it today? 7th? Oh, so it'll be next Thursday yeah anyways i'm gonna go to work now and then i will catch up with you when i'm getting ready to go get my ambassador botox so the mail room is kind of broken so these were just like on the floor downstairs anyways um <clears throat> i ordered this dress from mercy okay and it is basically exactly the same as all the other dresses that i, I have been ordering but like leave me alone you know but it was out of stock so <laughs> Just leave me alone, okay? I really don't know. I don't even know if it's gonna fit me or anything, but it was gorgeous and it screamed Madison Beer. However, I don't, I still don't know what I'm gonna wear this weekend, but I feel like this is too much. You know what I mean? Like if it was my birthday, I don't know. Maybe it would look a little bit more casual if I had it on. Oh, does that look big? Oh, for frick's sake. No, why, right, why would you put shraps on like that? Because they've just come straight out. Why would you put removable straps on a dress? They're not even removable. It's only one side. We have a little goodie bag. Oh, you can't even see me. <laughs> we have a little goodie bag. We've got some Fiji water because I need to be drinking a lot of water for the fat dissolving thing, which I didn't end up getting it done. Can I just say, sorry, I'm not even like, Anyway, so we got Master Botox first. It was literally just two little injections. She was like, you're not gonna be able to feel a thing. If you've had your lips done and your lips hurt, this does not hurt. I genuinely thought it was gonna hurt. I, did, I just didn't know how to describe it. I just thought like, oh no, it's gonna be so painful. And like, anyway, so it didn't hurt. It was two little um, injections on each side of my face for the Master. And then for the fact, <laughs> it's so funny because it's like so much like liquid, like, like in there now there's like 10 ml of liquid um you need to drink a lot of water and everything because it like flushes it out but it can take like two to three sessions for it to fully work and everything um i mean not gonna lie my face looks slimmer already no, I'm joking. it literally takes two weeks to um fully kick in so okay my ego package has arrived so let's go through the clothes and see what is like not gonna fit me again because a okay i got this dress i got a dress a jumpsuit and a cord so all three different things but i just i didn't know what sizes to get oh my god i thought that was like the size of the dress then it's not okay this is the old holly dress i feel like it does fit really nicely um i just still feel <laughs> I still feel really just, I don't know, I just don't feel like I look like myself. I don't know if it's because I'm still a little bit bloated or what. Like, I just, I feel really weird. I'm going to probably edit this back and be like, Caitlin, literally shut up. You look fine. Or I'm going to be like, anyway, I could not have got a size down in this. I mean, to be fair, it actually fits really nice. Um, but yeah, I just... I think it's cute. I mean, I think for like a concert, which is what I'm gonna wear. Tell me this isn't the most like Madison Bear dress you've ever seen. It's like, cause it's a corset on the back. You can really like cinch it in. So I'm giving like body right now. <laughs> this one's made me feel really good about myself. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I feel like potentially I could have got a size down but it does fit completely fine. It's just like the boob area, to be honest, that I'm concerned about. Okay, this is the next outfit. I just, I actually had to size up in this 
I'm not being funny, this is not a size 10. Like, unless I'm a size 10 then, but I don't know. Um, I'm not sure on this one, I feel like, I don't know. Again, I'm just like, oh, what with a tan? Cause like, I just don't like my legs and like just, <laughs> I'm complaining so much. I'm not gonna lie, this one, I actually thought I was gonna hate cause normally I don't really like dresses like this, which I mean, I'm not loving it, but I'm also not hating it. I feel like, it is fitting really nice. The last one is this jumpsuit and I'm not even showing you because I don't want to put it on the internet because I <laughs> I look awful, okay? This one is immediately going back. I didn't even think that it would fit me nice. Not gonna lie, don't know why I ordered it, but I also didn't think it would be this material. Like, it's not doing anything, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, no. Guys, I have had a little bit of a situation. My camera, SD card has run out. I have actually ordered a new one because I wanted to film a tipsy get ready with me on the weekend anyway. And to be fair, the SIM card, the, the SD card that I have, it's only 32 gigabyte anyway. So I mean, it doesn't really have that much. And I've there's like a lot of footage on it. There's probably like two hours worth of footage. So I mean, fair enough. But I'm just gonna have to record other little clips on my phone. <laughs> Um, until it comes, I have odd one, so it should be here tomorrow. But yeah, um, okay. I my hair does not need washing, and it's really annoying that I have to do this. But I mean, here we are. I just really wanna oh, fix it. I mean, it literally looks fine, but then in some other lightings, it doesn't. So I ordered this. It's the Glaze, like the that's a brand. Anyways. So yeah, it's the glaze. Um, but so it's semi-permanent, no mix, no mess. Lasts up to 10, 10 washes, which I mean, good, because I'm literally getting my hair washed on Friday and getting a, no, Saturday, getting a blow dry. Morning, bitch. It is Ariana Grande's new album day. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm actually really liking it so far. I didn't actually like it at first. Um, like, well, no, that's a lie. I liked like a few of them, but I didn't like all of them. And I was like, mm, I don't know about this Miss Girl, Miss Ponytail, but I'm enjoying it a lot more now. Um, I also straightened my hair, but I'm just sick of my hair being so damaged. Like actually like grow up, you know what I mean? But um, Alexa, pause. Um, I put this thing on my hair last night. Oh, I told, oh no, I, I literally vlogged it. Um, it's cause I just got a new SD card for this camera because my other one's full. So that's why I was on my phone last night. It's gone darker, but I'm honestly, I knew it was gonna go darker, but like, I didn't think it was at first, but I'm really, really enjoying it. And I'm very happy. But I did actually order um, <laughs> another dress. So, do you know what I mean? I actually really need to fake tan. It's nearly 12 o'clock already. Don't know how that's happened. I wanted to fake tan at like 10 and leave it on, but I think I just, I don't know what tan I'm gonna use. So I wanna jerk. Uh, so I don't know whether to do two layers of the two hour express from Loving Tan. So I feel like that would be good. Like put a layer on, wash it off after two hours and then put another layer on and then wash that off after two hours. And then put on tinted moisturizer. I think, I think that's our way forward. Okay, so this is their new PLT label collection. So it's a little bit more thicker. Oh, why do they look so short? I'm sick of this. I'm sick of being tall. I think this may fit good though. Um, it's just this little, oh no, it's, it looks so short. We'll see. It's this little like mini dress, but I don't know how to describe the material of it. It looks cute though, but I want to try it on before I fake tan to be fair. And then I feel like this would cinch you in if it even fits me anyway. But it's got a zip at the back, but it looks, it looks cute, but I'm just not too sure how short it's going to be. I think I do like this dress. I mean, it, it actually, it fits me, but I'm just not too sure on um, this bit. It just cinched me in like, from the side, I'm snatched. From the front, it's kind of, I don't know. Am I being like dramatic about this? It's just these bits here. Like I feel like they shouldn't be like that. And I don't know if it's because I've tightened them a lot. You know, I feel like it's just sticking out on my hips a bit weird. You know what I mean? I think I do like it. I think I do like it. And I think, 
I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I mean, we have two options now. I feel like this is a good contender and it does fit really nice. And then I'm not going to be like insecure about my boobs because they're not like out. Whereas in that other one, they were, you know, the one with like the floral lace. So I feel like this could be a better option maybe. I'm really not too sure. I feel like I do like it. I do like what it looks like, but this string is longer than that one. Okay, we have fake tanned. Um, I actually did get it on the carpet, so I'm gonna have to try and scrub that out. So this chair that I got, I literally got it like a month ago and it's already stained. Anyways, um, I'm so excited to open this, but I just, <laughs> I don't know what it's gonna be. I just need a loving tan to our express, but what I always use is the Be Bold Barrier Balm. Oh my God, phenomenal invention. Like actually phenomenal invention. Guys, I'm so confused. I had a, oh, there's stickers on. Freaking hell. Not making it easy for me to get into. Where are you, Rowie Glass? Bloody hell for you. Right. Oh my God, they're just packing. Girl. What the fuck is in here? <laughs> right, I'm assuming it's to do with lips. Right, girl. Oh my God, no, actually be, actually be for real. There is just more packaging like is this some secret secret like what is what is this i think it's all lip stuff but um okay it's all lip stuff but apparently the hour like i'm not being funny right now can you see all that packaging sorry like thanks hourglass i really i actually really appreciate this because i'm really excited to try them because madison bear uses shaped and sculpt lip liner i don't know what shade she uses but I feel like these are supposed to be really nice. Gorgy, I'm so excited to try these actually. But like, come on, does the packaging need to be this much? Ooh, that looks nice. What? I don't wanna snap them. And then we've got lipsticks, soft matte lipstick. Oh, I love a matte lipstick. I'm very fussy with my lip color. I feel like I do really like a pinky shade. I don't know if any of these are gonna be pinky. Like, I feel like a pinky suits me. <gasps> oh! What is this? This is in the shade Tulip. But I feel like that will be gorge. Why does it never want to focus on what I'm trying to show you? I feel like that will be gorge. I'm going to keep that one out for tomorrow. I feel like. Stunning. Hello, my girlies. I have just got back from a blow dry. It's now Saturday. I am so stressed out because if you know me, my phone just tends to die and I don't like going out with a port without a portable charger. I don't like it. I don't want my phone to die. Like I want to make sure that I can get an Uber home and everything. And like the thought of my phone dying really, really stresses me out. I cannot find this portable charger anywhere for the life of me. I've searched every single bag. I've literally <laughs> like I've searched everywhere. I don't understand where it could be and it's like it's stressing me out because I know that my phone will die because it just doesn't last on a percentage you know what I mean like it just completely dies it's like it's half it's half one now my phone is on 39% and when did I first go on it like 9am that's what like three and a half hours that's not really good enough, you know what I mean? And I mean, I don't really go on my phone when I'm out, but it's not the point. Just that comfort of having it there, and I just don't understand where it would have gone. Because I feel like I took it to London with me, and that was on like, was that the 29th of my, um, when was it? Oh, that was the 22nd of Feb. Maybe that's the last time I, I feel like that's the last time I used it. Girlies, I have to like quickly go like literally right now, but this is the outfit that I chose. It's like from PLT and then I've got these little heels on, but I just put this laser on just know if I get cold or anything. The hair, the blowout was unreal. The makeup, everything. <coughs> Sorry, I just, I need to, I actually really need to go. I'm running a little bit late. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. But, oh my God, I'll try and vlog as much as I can on my phone, but, I think I'm vlogging also for TikTok, so 
Who really knows? Anyways, I'll try and include some clips. I mean, who knows what I'll get because I feel it's gonna it's gonna be a messy night. Like, I just know what we're like. Okay, so but yeah, I love you. Look at the makeup though. Sorry. No, I'm actually just, I'm happy. Okay, I'm like after a shit week of like feeling like I'm looking like shit to finally like feel like actually nice. It's so nice. I. It's half nine at night, and I only just feel okay. Like I only just feel okay that I can actually eat something now. Like I genuinely, all day, no it's actually been awful though. Um, I've not been able to eat because I was just, I just kept throwing up, I just kept being sick. Sorry, this is a bit TMI. I hate, I don't like being sick. Like it literally, I, I, <laughs> um, I ordered food this morning, I ordered coffee and like matcha and a wrap and I thought, oh, this will be nice. I literally, I projectile vomited, like, I couldn't even stop it from coming out of my mouth, I had to, like, swallow it, but it was just, like, there was so much of it, that it just, <laughs> and then I got into the bathroom, <laughs> no, because it's actually not funny, it's funny now, because I feel okay, touch wood, um, I got into the bathroom, toilet, <laughs> like, just, it just kept coming out, but it's just water, obviously, um, so yeah, then I ordered a co-op food shop. If you think I was leaving my house, I don't care. Like I was not, I was not stable enough, okay? Leave me alone. Um, and I just ordered fruit and like Luke's aids and stuff because I couldn't stomach like carby bread things. So, but now I'm hungry and I have nothing in. I've got four Yorkshire puddings. That's it, and with gravy. Like that's literally, that's all I've got. Um. Oh my god, that, my dress also broke. I don't even want to speak about it. I just, I can't even. Oh my god, it's the air fryer. I literally was like, what is going on? Uh, my dress broke on me. <laughs> Do you know what though? I handled that situation pretty good because I would have normally just cried and had a breakdown considering like obviously the week I've had. Um, I was sat down on Abby's bed and it just went, the zip. And I was like, good luck, I've literally got coffee out, I need gravy. Like to be honest, I've actually just done caring. So luckily the dress, it's actually quite got in because I actually really like the dress. So um, yeah, I'm actually a bit pissed off, not gonna lie, because it's actually a gorgeous dress. It was from PLT. Um, luckily, because it had strings, we were able to tie it and it had a clasp on the back. So, I mean, I don't really care what I look like when I'm out, like, but, I mean, I, well, I don't clearly, but, it wasn't the end of the world, like what could I have done? So that was fun. Not thanks PLT for that. Uh, I have emailed them now because the dress, to be fair, the dress was 40 quid from PLT. It's really good quality, like it's actually a gorgeous dress, but it literally bossed after an hour. And I was like, thanks for that. Thanks for that. Um, luckily it did it when we was at our base because imagine if it just bossed when we was out. I don't, I think I just would have cried. I think I would have just have to go home, to be honest. But yeah, um, I think I could be allergic to wine. That's what Barney's mum said to Barney, and then I think I think it could be that. I don't really know, though. Mm. I mean, to be fair, I do get quite ill when I have drunk wine. But then, I don't really, so I don't know. 